Once you've got a basic pattern set up, there's a lot you can do to make it more varied and musical. The performance sequencer is a great place to start. Let's begin by looking at what the different rows do in the performance sequencer. The octave transposition row is pretty obvious, but it shouldn't be overlooked as a way to structure your patterns, both melodically and rhythmically. You can transpose one or two octaves up or down. If you want to transpose a whole series of notes, press Shift, then click and drag. To reset a single step, right-click on it. This works for all the performance sequencer rows. The pitch bend row gives you 20 different pitch bend shapes, from simple bends to shakes. Use the chord row to harmonize your patterns. To see which notes are played, check out the chord appendix section in the manual. You can call up the manual by clicking on the Open Manual button on the Thesis interface. 16 different note roll patterns are available in the roll row. Rolls can be especially effective in slower tempos or larger tempo divisions like quarter notes or half notes. Creative use of different roll types can give your patterns a lot of rhythmic variety. For example, you can create interesting two against three rhythms using three hit rolls. Or use a roll as a pickup to a strong beat. Finally, the random row lets you randomize a single parameter of your choosing for each sequencer step. Using occasional random velocity, for example, can give your sounds a more human performance feel. Another handy workflow feature is Command Click for instant row editing. With the Command key pressed, click to step through the different choices in each row. Just like every other sequencer in Thesis, there are two different random functions incorporated into the performance sequencer. The first is full random, which is like rolling dice. Clicking here might be a great way to get some fresh inspiration. The second random function is mutate. Clicking the mutate button only changes existing values. Any steps that are not filled with values will not be affected. In addition, you can set minimum and maximum random values in the global settings row, located under the modulation sequencer. This is especially useful for velocity, pitch, and gate sequencer randomization. And if you ever forget something about the thesis interface, just mouse over the element in question and read the tooltips. If you need further explanation, don't forget to consult the manual. Now start tweaking your patterns with the performance sequencer.